I am so fortunate. This is a deja vu experience for me. Four years ago, I was out here in Taos, working on earth ships, learning how to build them, learning how to put uh, wiring and uh, plumbing and everything else. And right now it looks like one of the earth ship instructors, the plumber, he's getting his building built, building his home. You can see the tires, how the tires go, and everybody seems to be working really hard on this. There's, it's no small deal to make these 250, 300 pound bricks. This is really hard work. Uh, the dirt is pounded in with sledgehammers and people come all from all over the world to learn how to do this, to fill the tires, make sure they're the right height, make sure they have the right amount of dirt, there are no air spaces in them. And they also learn how to wire and uh, put in plumbing and do all of the other things for the other ships. One such person was Lelia, and she came all the way from Brazil and she agreed to answer the three dream questions. Okay. Lelia, are you ready to answer the three dream questions? <laughs> no, this, those are hard to answer, but we yeah. are. Where, where are you from, first of all? I'm from Brazil. Brazil? Yeah. From... And you're here with the uh, Earthship Dig yeah, Earthship here. Dig Academy. Here. Yeah, to learn a bit more. Okay. Um, I'm an architect back there. Oh. Yeah. I live uh, in Manaus, which is the capital of Amazon. The state, the state of Amazon, in the north of Brazil, yeah. And I, uh, and over there, well, it kind of suits the first question because I'm trying to reach some of my dreams. Which so these are your dreams. So what your dreams, yeah, the things I'm, that keep you I'm moving to and them. stuff. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Because over there, I'm trying to work with social architecture, and uh, in some communities traditional communities with indigenous or ribeirinho as we call the people who live close to the river and um, yeah and that's kind of my dream to try to make a difference of people that need my profession um, because I, I know that sometimes architecture looks like some luxury things and I think that many people could live with better if we could try to be closer to people who really need it. So you're looking for more of a sustainable, yes. affordable yes. at the same time. Yeah, something like that. Not just um, because not not just sustainable uh, itself, but also that respects the traditional kind of constructions in some areas where they are very strong and they for example there we have uh, cities or small communities where you just can get um, it's like you just can get there by boat almost like two days or more mm. so to get things there is very hard and they've got their own way to build <laughs> so you're talking you're respecting the indigenous yeah the indigenous are well. traditional uh, groups that we've got there. The next question is, um, do you remember your, your dreams as a child? <laughs> the things you were dreaming about, what were your dreams as a child? And how have they changed? I am um, always been kind of a adventurous person or child, or child, I don't know. And I always like art very much. Um, I don't, I don't know if I remember that. I mean, I had dreams like professional, like how oh, I wanted to be mm. <laughs> archaeologist or something like that. But um, yeah, and I think that was kind of of it. And then I, I don't really remember a very great ambition that I had when I was a child. But I always knew that I wanted to help the people and to try to be there, you know, to make some difference somehow. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, my, my next question is if you could, in your <laughs> present form and body, go back to your 13-year-old self, well, <laughs> what advice would you give yourself? Um, I think it's a bit cliche, but like, never give up. Even though sometimes it's, it looks like the way, it looks like the things are going the wrong way, maybe they're not 
that's the way they are supposed to be going so you can get where you want so I think you just need to have focus will and love to be oh that's beautiful yeah. focus yeah. will and love yeah, so focus and so. a desire and love yeah so I think I think something something like it's some things that help me to to keep going you know because sometimes you look oh shit it's hot i'm sorry yeah, it's okay <laughs> okay i mean sometimes you you get scared in the yeah. middle and then you need to remember what makes you going there or so i this is going to go i'm, I'm on an american united okay. states mm -hmm. uh, tour right okay. now and so i'm going to ask you an additional question okay <laughs> uh, about the united states uh -huh. and stuff what have been your impressions from being within the United States and what are your impressions <laughs> from Brazil well um, well I'm here like for five days basically oh you're only yeah. here for five days yes I and it's actually my first time in the US and so far I'm, I'm liking it's been beautiful you're especially with, here I mean yeah. I think that and it was funny because uh, and the immigration, the guy said, "No, it's your first time here. Are you sure you don't want to stay in Miami <laughs> to go to New <laughs> Mexico or Mexico? something?" Yeah. And I said, "Yeah, but I think it's because I've got up this purpose to, to mm. be here and learn." Um, but so far, I'm liking the people are being so far very nice. Yeah. And sometimes when you are from South America, you think that Americans are a bit more like closed between themselves but I'm not really feeling like that not so far and yeah I think and well right now Brazil is going through a kind of political crisis about education and everything and I really hope that this goes away as far as possible because I think that the people there don't deserve it yeah. we, we work hard there as well you know, so even though there is a lot of social social differences okay we are trying to <laughs> to make things yeah. out yeah. is there anything else you'd like to say about dreams or about your observations or about the world or or, or anything um i don't know i just maybe it's just just that the world can always surprise you somehow so to so be things, open, maybe. To so be, be open. open to change, is yeah. that what you're saying? Is yeah, that something to change into the things that are coming to you. Because and you've done that? I'm trying to. I okay. mean, I think that's something to try to learn every day. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I, I start to, to feel more confident and more comfortable after I start to think like that. So maybe that's it. Thank you very much. Okay. Say your name like one more time. It's Lelia. Lelia. Yeah.